Hello and welcome to today's lesson on 3D drawing for your model railway. In today's lesson, we're going to draw this little three lance 009 gauge coach. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make things easier for your own modelling. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this drawn within 20 minutes. Okay, so let's get started on drawing this 009 coach. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a sketch on this back face here. And when I'm drawing something like a coach, which is relatively symmetrical, I only initially draw a quarter of it and then I just use the software to mirror it over. Okay, so I'm going to say that I want the height to be 35 millimetres. And then I'm going to do from the centre line outwards by 15 millimetres. And then create another line going upwards and I'm going to create 30 millimetres. And then going to, for the curved roof, I'm going to use the fit spline point. I'm going to go from the top line here down to the other one we just drawn and then click on the little tick to go out of there. It's going to escape to go back to the normal cursor. Then I can start to manipulate these handles here to get my, my curve on the roof that I'm after. So I'm happy with that there. And then for this one, I want this to be straight here, so horizontal at this point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these handles to snap it to that centre point there. You can see how it's snapping in. Okay, and then I want a little bit more curve on this one. I'm just going to change the curve a little bit there. There you go. Right, so that looks relatively good there. Okay, I'm going to now fix that in position so that it can't move. And then I'm going to create an offset to that line one millimeter on the other side so it's going to be minus one millimeter i'm going to use this to create my vein strip so i'm going to put a line vertically up here to join there and then i'm going to use my tangent arc tool that we were using on previous lessons to go from there and curving around so i've got my little vein strip there and then i'm going to use my padlock to lock that in position Okay, so that's all defined. I'm happy with that. I'm going to extrude this out then to half the length of the coach. Um, I'm going to draw it at 30 millimetres. And then click on OK. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow it out. So I'm going to use the shell tool on the bottom surface. And I want that to be one millimetre thick walls. What that's then doing is it's shelling down the middle. To get rid of these two faces here, what I'm going to do is select them, right click, extrude, extrude that outwards, click on OK, and then the same on the back wall, then extrude that outwards, click on OK. Okay, so I've now got my quarter coach. I'm going to save that so that if I wanted to do, say, a passenger vehicle or a guards van, or maybe I wanted to have with a completely open side um, then I've got a base that I can just continue to go back to rather than have to go back and change um, from a different model. So I'm going to do file, save as, I'm already in the tutorial location so I'm going to create this so get the emails as 009 coach base template and save that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add the windows into the, the other side. We'll create a sketch on this front face here. And I'm going to select my windows. I'm going to say that I want mine to be 11 millimeters tall. And I'm going to go for 8 millimeters wide. So I'm going to define the distance from the end of the coach to the side of the window. I'm going to have that as 2 millimeters. And from the bottom of the window, floor I'm going to go for six, 16 millimeters. Okay now I'm going to extrude that, that window through to the other side and we'll spin the model around click on the back face so it cuts all the way through. That's it great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create like a window frame to go around the outside so again going back to the sketch on this face here I'm going to use my offset tool and I'm going to select the whole of the window here, making sure the chain selection is ticked so it selects all the way around. 
on an offset on the outside, minus 0 0.2 millimeters. And I need to, another line on the outside of that, so I'm going to offset again. Now you can't offset an offset line. If I was to click on it, I just get this error. So what I need to do is offset the original, and then I can drag that out. I'm going to have that as minus 0 0.5 millimeters. So I'm going to have a 0 0.3 millimeter thick um, frame. I'm going to extrude that forwards half a millimeter. I'll be happy with that. It gives the impression of a frame there. And spin that around so you can see what we've done. Okay, so the next thing we want is to have three, uh, another two more of those frames. So we're going to create our rectangular pattern. Make sure the, the type is a feature. And we're going to select the extrusion for the window hole and the extrusion for the threat frame. Change the direction to come along the bottom edge here. Making sure I've got them set to three, which is the original plus two extras. And I'll be happy with that. That looks reasonably centered between each of these. And uh, click on OK. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I want to put a frame the same as this one down here. So I'm going to use my rectangular pattern again. I'm going to select a frame. I'm going to change direction downwards. I'm going to drag that down. I only want two of them, which is the original plus the extra one. And I'm going to put my frame about there. Click on OK. So now I've got that paneling effect going on. Um, do I want one next to it on the door? No, I'm going to leave the door blank. Okay, so I'm going to draw the door uh, there, the outside of the door now. So creating a, a two point rectangle again, coming up and across. I don't want it to snap onto the edges there. Like that, that's it. Good. Okay, so going to define the edge from there to there. And I'm going to have that as 0.15. And from that edge to that edge, I want that to be the same. So 0.15. Okay, good. And the height, I'm going to go 29 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to offset that again. So I'm going to use the offset tool. Again, I'm going to change chain selection because I don't want to offset on the bottom edge. So I'm going to have that side, hold shift down the top edge, and hold shift down and still and the side edge there. And I'm going to have that offset as 0 0.2 millimeters. Okay, so now I've got what looks like the seam of the door. I'm going to zoom in on that. So I can select between it and then extrude. I'm going to cut into the body and drag it into the body. I want that minus 0 0.3 millimeters. So that will then give the impression of having that door edge there. Okay. Okay, so go back to that face there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is have another panel here. Um, this panel, I'm going to do it as like a double panel going across rather than having a single, 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 single. So I'm going to create a sketch. Let's get rid of that. That's be, what's happened there is it's created a sketch on the whole model. So I'm just going to come out of that sketch, right click on the, the sketch I've just done, delete it, and redo a sketch on that face. I'm going to use two point rectangle again. So I'm going to try and line up with the top edge there. So I've gone and select it. You can see as I come across, I get a blue dotted line. Drag down, select the bottom edge so I know it's in line there. And go all the way to the edge. That's it. Okay, so I need to now change the dimensions here again. So sketch dimension from that panel edge to there. Door seam was 0.15. Distance from there to the floor, define that. And then the height. So it's all turned black and nice and defined. Nice and defined. And do the offset tool again. Again, making sure chain's not selected because I don't want this edge. I'm going to select the top edge, side edge, bottom edge. And I want them to be 
inside, so it's going to be minus 0 0.3, I think we had them. And then select that center, right click, extrude, and that'll be the same height. If I click on that, that face there, it'll become the same height of 0 0.5 millimeters. Click on OK. And then we'll scroll to that top edge, and you can see how we've got this starting to look like the panel is all being drawn on there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is draw the paneling on the end here. I'm going to turn the sketch around, create a new sketch on this face here. I'm going to draw a two point rectangle from the bottom across. And I'm going to say that I want that to be 2.5 millimeters high, 15 millimeters across. And I'm going to extrude coming out by uh, one millimeter. And then once again, I want some vertical bracing. So I'm going to create a new sketch again on this face. Two point rectangle. I'm going to start about there, coming up. You can obviously go to the top if you wanted. I'm going to, just going to go a distance about 27.5. And I'm going to have the panel or the rib one millimeter thick. Define the distance from the edge to the middle of the coach as 1.5 millimeters. And then I'm going to extrude that outwards by uh, one millimeter. And I don't want it to join, I want it to be a new body so that I can copy this across. If I was to join them together, this whole thing would try to copy as I pattern. So I'll we'll go rectangular pattern now, select that rib as a feature, select the direction to go across the coach, and it's going to drag it out nine millimeters. So I'll give me three ribs on each side. Click on OK. So there's my ribs. Okay, quite happy how that's looking. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this across. So I'm going to come down to mirror, select, actually cancel that, sorry, I need to join these ribs up because at the moment they're all separate. So I'm going to do combine the body, which is the coach body, adding in the three ribs, clicking OK, they now become one. So now when I mirror, click body, the whole thing will mirror across. I'm going to select the mirror plane to be the inside face here. Click on OK. Now I've got half the coach. Okay, and I'm now going to draw door hand. Uh, I'm now going to mirror across again. So rectangular pattern. Select the whole, sorry, not rectangular, I want the mirror. Select the whole body. Mirror plane to be this inside face. Click on OK. Okay, so there's my little coach. I'm going to add in a door handle. So create a sketch on the door's face. I'm going to use a center point circle. And I want the stem coming out of the handle to be 0.8 millimeters in diameter. Distance from the middle to the top of the frame there, 0.8 millimeters. And from the middle to the edge of the door, 1.4 millimeters. And then going to extrude outwards by one millimeter. And then I'm going to draw the handle itself on this face here using the center point rectangle. Find the center point, that's it. I'm going to drag it out. I want it to be 0.8 millimeters by 2 millimeters. And I'm going to select the three faces there and then extrude by half a millimeter. OK, I just want to round these edges off here, so I'm going to select fillet. Select the 
for edges. Put that in slightly so that they come round. That error there is because I just dragged this in a little bit too far. Just gets itself in a little bit of a twist. So you only you can only extrude to the same thickness. So they've got the round edges there. Happy with that. Okay, so I'm now going to copy that across. And the reason I couldn't copy, draw this on one and then copy is as I was as I mirrored them, I would end up with the door handles changing sides on the doors. So I'm going to pattern the door handles underneath the extrusion for the stem, the handle, and the rounding of the fillets. And the direction is going to come across the coach. I only want two of them. I need to try and get this roughly lined up in the same position. About there. That's it. There's the door handle. And then I'd have to do the same on this side. So spin the coach around. Draw on this face. 0.8 millimeter diameter. And then distance from there to there. 1.8, I think I said. Uh, 1.4 and then we're going to extrude that outwards and come out one millimeters. Draw again a sketch on the outside face. Going for my center point rectangle, finding the center point, dragging out. And we said 0.8 high, two millimeters long. Select three faces again, holding shift down while we do that, right click, extrude, and we're in half millimeter, click on OK, and then we fill it, holding shift down those four edges, and we just round that Is that not working? Uh, not going to four millimeters. Sorry, that's it. Okay, so that's the door handle, and we're going to pattern that one. Rectangular pattern. That extrusion, that extrusion, and fill it. Direction across the coach. I want two of them, and we had it. 29. Okay. So there's our little coach. So you could add in things like if you wanted buffers on the end, or sole bar underneath, maybe a footstep running rail. Um, I've designed this so that you could quite easily fit this over I don't know, a wagon chassis or something. You could draw something in here to support it. But that gives you a basic idea of how I'd go about drawing a little coach freelance um, to suit a 009 layout. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below, um, press the like and subscribe button and come back for more content. Thanks for watching.